everybody it's dr rick dropping in on you hope everybody is doing well uh i am not going to take a whole lot of your time today this is a very busy time for me but it is transformational tuesday before i get started i do want to uh share something with you uh an opportunity there are two opportunities actually uh, first and foremost, uh, my rapid change method has been used for years to engage individuals and help them achieve some unbelievable uh, changes in perspective, changes in thought patterns, changes in speech patterns using a number of disciplines, in, including uh, embodied cognition, transformational vocabulary, and others. Um, it's one of my most popular methods of direct engagement uh, behind my, long, my more long-term packages like the bronze, silver, gold, and platinum packages. Uh, so right now, for the remainder of the day, uh, I am offering this particular package, which is normally $450 for a session. I'm offering it now at $175. And... I'm offering two additional sessions at no charge. I want you to take advantage of it. I want you to see what it's like to sit down and work with me. So then maybe you will think about going long term. Maybe you will think about what you can gain. Look, what my job is, you ask what I do. And there are a bunch of things I do. But ultimately, what my result is, I compress years worth of learning years worth of knowledge years worth of practice i compress those years into days i shorten the learning curve i shorten the distance i shorten the time by taking you down a path that's already been paved by taking you down a path that will allow you to not bump your head as much is it work yes it's still work it's you're gonna have to put in work in order to achieve the things that you desire it's that simple but what I'm doing is something my grandmother used to always say to me. She used to always see, say, son, uh, sometimes bought sense is better than borrowed. And she would always say that when she had already given me advice. Um, she had already given me advice on something and it seemed I was going to ignore the advice and just do it the way that I wanted to. She would say sometimes bought sense is better than borrowed. What she was saying was sometimes you got to learn on your own. Sometimes you have to bump your head. But you don't want to consistently bump your head. You don't want to have to go through trial and error if you don't have to. Now, if you're creating something that's uniquely yours, that only you are, you're going to be the person, it's your thing, then yeah, trial and error is just simply the way to go because nobody's done it before. But when you're trying to get the basic principles of progression, the basic principles of success, the basic principles of stabilization, and so many other things that are so important to long-term consistent progression in this life then you are going to tra travel a path that has already been paved now you're going to venture off the path sometimes and stumble into bushes stumble into gravel stumble into uh things that make you fall and go back but the goal is at the end of the day to be on the path as much as possible that's what i help you do i compress years into days it's that simple and your goal in, in in anything it sh should be to compress years and today find uh the space where the most uh abundant knowledge about what it is you're trying to accomplish is in one space uh so you're not chasing it all over the place you can get sense of consistency and direction i am now again offering this at far beyond i think it's 60 something percent off um, almost 70% off, something like that. But uh, it's regular 450, it's only 175, and I'm giving you two additional sessions. This is only good for the remainder of the day. The link is in the description box. And for those of you who already know that you wanna sit down with me and go at least 12, um, 12 sessions deep, I now have the bronze package, which is regularly priced at 3,500 on sale half price so for 1750 for the remainder of the day now this is an extended offer because it's supposed to end last night but i'm extending it through today so if you want to work with me for a minimum of 12 weeks the bronze package is where you can start uh i guarantee you 
over these 12 weeks, these 12 sessions, things are going to happen in your life that will be lasting, that will be huge, that will be powerful, that you will be able to take and apply over and over again to advance yourself and to move towards the things you want. Uh, this has been the staple of my business for the last 12 years. Now I'm moving into some other areas to be able to scale out and to plan. So I'm not doing as many as these, many of these as I've done in past years, especially not last year, but I am doing some. So this is an opportunity if you want to work with me for more than a couple of sessions, then the bronze package is the way to go. And right now you can get it for 50% off. Um, I encourage you to do so. So those are the two offers that are there. They are, only good for today so take advantage of them look it's transformational tuesday and what i want to share with you today is real simple you are changing the question is how much of this process of change is true positive growth that you are in control of that you are directing and contributing to and how much of it is it just simple being tossed to and fro as change happens with no predictable outcome see the world is changing life is changing everything is in motion uh everything is dynamic nothing is standing still even when it seems that it is and so you either take control of your destiny or life takes control of you. You either become uh, the captain of the ship of your life or other people will take hold of the rudder and you will be pushed to and fro situation, circumstances, people who don't have your best interest at heart and I can go on down the line. What do you do? You have to find a system of consistency in which you are intentionally growing one of the things that you're going to have to do is learn how to look beyond your circumstances far too many people allow their entire being to be defined by momentary circumstances so much so that in identifying with the circumstances they begin to per 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 I mean, uh, perpetuate behavior that is in alignment with that current reality and then in a cyclical process reproduces it over and over again you're not in the same situation you're just in the next situation that's identical to the one you just left because you haven't changed your behavior you have identified with poverty you have identified with um being 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 uh mishandled misused mistreated you have identified with not having uh, the right skill set with not having the right mindset. So you just constantly lean into your pain. And when you lean into your pain, your pain becomes suffering. Pain is inevitable. You're going to go through things. Pain is simply a way to d discover that something that isn't good for you is happening to you in a biological, physiological sense. When you are having pain in your body somewhere, it's telling you something's not right. If the pain persists, it's something that you need to get checked out. It could be an injury. It could be a chemical imbalance. It could be a cellular problem. Uh, it could be a, a, a gene problem. It could be a bunch of different things. But if you don't get it checked out and you don't do something to counter it, it's going to become worse. The pain isn't the situation. The pain is simply a symptom. Same thing in life. If, if, you, if you're hurting on the inside, that's a symptom of something. You have to discover it. Now, here's the beauty of this thing. While pain is inevitable, suffering is a choice. Suffering is you identifying and leaning into the thing that caused your pain. You're leaning into that person that broke you, uh, broke your heart so much that you can't think about anything else but what that person did to you. Every conversation leads with that or ends with that. Every, situ every thought is a part of that. How you process things is a part of that. Are you you're identifying with the fact that you've always struggled finance? Are you identifying with the fact that you can never seem to find the right job? Your career moves haven't turned out the way you want them to. So you're identifying with them. You're hanging on to them. They've become a part of your identity. You're starting to say, I'm just not that smart. You're starting to say, well, maybe I don't deserve this. You're starting to say, because you're you're going to have to be able to look beyond your circumstances 
and determine that what's out there for you is for you. Now, it's not going to fall in your lap. It's not going to simply uh, come rolling down the hill and land at your feet. It's going to be something that you're going to have to consistently commit to in a way that you are constantly moving toward it, that you are actually making up in your mind that I'm going to get it or I'm, I'm going to die trying. I'm going to have this thing. If I can conceive it in my mind, that means I have the capacity to do it. God wouldn't allow me to have this constant conception of something and then not be able to produce it. Now, what, what, what will have to happen is I will have to let some things go in order to produce it. What will have to happen is I will have to adopt some new thoughts and, and behaviors and, 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 and habits to do it. I can't be the same person I've always been in habit. I'm going to have to become the person capable of having it. And the thing is, I'm always in motion so I have the ability to choose the direction in which I move. Now, there are going to be some things that are going to come in your life that you don't control. There are going to be some things that come in your life that you don't necessarily have uh, the ability to stop. But for the most part, even then, how you respond to those uh, unpredictable moments, let's call it that will have a massive impact on how you come. Are you folding under the pressure? Are you acquiescing to the pressure? Are you conceding to the pressure? Or are you sitting up saying, this will make me stronger, but I'm going to push through? See, the thing you want is on the other side of the wall, that wall of uncertainty, that wall of pain, that wall of fear, all of the, that, the, uh, that wall of delay, it's on the other side. But you're going to have to be willing to go get it. You're going to have to be willing to shake free of it. You're going to have to be willing to sit up and tell yourself that no surrender, no retreat. I'm not giving up. I'm not turning back. I'm not quitting. Let me tell you something. I, I would love to sit up and tell you that there's this secret uh, to success that you once you discover it, everything just flows smoothly and nothing goes wrong. And I'm telling you that you're going to constantly meet challenges. Every time you set up a new goal, every time you aim a little bit higher, that's going to be a new challenge. Every time you make up in your mind that you're climbing the stairway, that you are going to move into something more prominent, more impactful, you're going to run into challenges. It isn't about circumventing the challenges. It's about pushing through them. It's about persevering. It's about determining that nothing in this world is going to stop you from becoming Coming, the thing and the person that you need to become to have the things that you desire to have. See, here's this thing. There's a common saying, in order to have the things that most people don't have, you got to be willing to do the things that most people won't do. Your sleeping habits, your thinking habits, your reading habits, the people that you spend the most time around, all of these things are going to have an impact on where you go. You need to be setting a path towards this idea that you have for yourself, this desire that you have for yourself, this dream that you have for yourself, your life, your family. You've got to be moving toward it in thought, in speech, in expectation, in preparation. It's all a part of it. So you got to ask yourself, what am I doing to move me toward this thing I say I desire? Sitting around wishing. Wishing is not a plan. Complaining is not a plan. Wishing and complaining, neither is wishing and complaining a strategy. Who do you plan on connecting with? What courses are you planning on taking? What relationships are you planning on developing? How are you going to change your mindset towards X, Y, Z? If it's not working out for you, you've got to change your mindset about it. What should I be doing differently? Who will be the five people in my inner circle? All of these are questions that you must explore. So I'm challenging you. Don't get so fixated on the circumstance. Don't get so fixated on where you're at. Because whatever you focus on, you feel. I say, I say that all the time. Whatever you focus on, you're going to feel. Whatever you give attention to gains power. So if you're focusing on the negative stuff, it's going to come at you. My challenge is get focused on the things that will help you win. Again, for today only, there are two ways that you can work with me in the description box. And there are awesome offers that only are good for today. The first one is 
the rapid change session which is normally four hundred and fifty dollars is now on sale for 175 plus I'm offering two free sessions that's a blowout that's over a thousand dollars worth of sessions for $175 then I'm offering my bronze package which is 12 sessions at $3,500 for half price at $1,750 for 12 sessions that is a massive break in price and great value but you're going to get so much in return we go hard in the paint this isn't just a kick it session this isn't a chop it up session we're doing disc assessments we're doing uh, uh disc assessment personality assessments we're doing uh vision and uh goal assessments we're doing uh evaluations of where you are now and looking at where you're going we're setting plans up we're looking at self-talk vocabulary uh construct linguistics uh uh, evaluations all the things that are going to make an impact you'd be surprised how much your self-talk influences how you move in life what are you saying about yourself what are you saying about the opportunities what are you saying about the visions and dreams that you have that's huge so again if you're looking to make a change today is an awesome chance to do it uh, if you've ever set up and said man I, I would love to work with him but I this is a great chance and an opportunity to do it. Again, I'm not taking on as many clients as I have in the past because I'm doing some other things where I can reach more people uh, at one point, I mean at one time, but I am going to be taking people because the one-on-one -on -one path is the best way. You can't substitute that one-on-one -on -one engagement because it's specifically about you and what you need to do, what you want, and it's only you. It's not generalized, it's highly specific. But there are only so many people I can work with at one time. So there's got to be other things I do because there's so many people who need to be touched. And so this is an opportunity. I challenge you to get out there. Um, um, get out there. If you are looking to make a change, go in the description box. Click the link. Connect. Let's get you scheduled. Get you on my calendar. Let's make it happen. On that note, I'm out of here. You guys have an unbelievable remainder of your day.